I'm telling you, Steve, it's like with this weather that yeah. we're having even, we haven't had that much rain. It's we need little, it. It's a little crunchy out there. It is, and it's all yeah. the same reason they're getting the fires is we have a locked weather pattern. But that thing may budge a little bit by Wednesday, giving us some cooling sea breezes and thunder showers. We'll keep our fingers crossed. We had a great day. There were some scattered showers, and if you were underneath one, you got some cooling and some wet weather. But uh, most of us did not get any rain today. And But it was a beautiful day over Sarasota Bay, as you can see, and a great sunset as well. And at 11 o'clock, temperatures across the state, pretty much in the 80s everywhere. It has not cooled off that much. There's just not really a sea breeze coming from the east or west. 82 at Fort Myers, 83 at Melbourne, and Miami currently 84. In our viewing area with the 90-degree Gulf waters, it's hard for Longboat Key, Siesta, or even Boca Grande to cool off in the evening. Still in the upper 80s there, 83 at Arcadia, and Parish 84 degrees. There is one lone shower just south of Sanibel that's kind of drifting north, and maybe some down in the southern extremities of the Tamiami Trail, but look at this, Florida at this hour is mainly dry. And the tropics are also very quiet at this time, too, for three major factors. First of all, we have a strong Bermuda high that's been in place all hurricane season long. It's increased the uh, uh, trade winds, and that keeps these little waves that move off the coast of Africa from becoming anything as they head toward the Caribbean. We also have wind shear aloft, and anything were to form would just be blown, the tops would be blown off of it. But an interesting factor is coming off the Sahara Desert for the last week is this huge cloud of sand and dust that's made it all the way across the Atlantic to the Caribbean, and that has the effect of dimming the sunlight and keeping that solar energy from triggering or building up storms down in the lower elevations, lower uh, latitudes as well. That high pressure is going to remain in place, and that will mean the Caribbean will uh, remain quiet for the next several days. Maybe something will change there and in the Gulf of Mexico in about 10 days' time. All of us here in the weather office will be keeping a close look at it. Just because we've had a very quiet hurricane season so far doesn't mean it's going to stay that way. Uh, we have a very unusual weather pattern responsible for all these things. We have a, a wave of low pressure off the northeast and one off the northwest. This is not supposed to happen in the summer. You're not supposed to have these things anchoring a ridge of high pressure over the Midwest, but that's what we've had, and it doesn't show any signs until about Wednesday of uh, budging. We have some uh, uh, strong storms possible in North Dakota tonight, and in the southeast where it's been near 100 degrees, scattered showers are giving local cooling just like we've got here. Now, this is the high pressure that is so strong stretching across Florida that it's shut off our Gulf sea breezes, and it doesn't look like those breezes will return until Wednesday, but as this high pressure weakens on Monday and Tuesday, I think by Wednesday, we'll start seeing those sea breezes kick in developing the afternoon evening showers and thunderstorms that are key for giving us the rain we need and also the cooler in the evening that we also really want. So look at this. We have uh, for the last six hours scattered showers and thunderstorms over the interior, but they're all gone. Our beach and boating forecast look for winds to be southwesterly at 10 knots offshore, seas two feet or less. Bay and inland waters will have a light chop. And our Gulf water temperature 90. It's been as warm as 91 today. If you're going to the beach tomorrow, the air temperature will be 90 and the UV index 12. Here's my forecast for the balance of uh, tonight. Very uh, partly cloudy and very warm. Temperature 78 degrees. Our average 75 and winds will be calm. And for tomorrow, a partly sunny day with only a 20% chance of showers and thunder showers. High 92. And the seven-day outlook, Alex, this is what I'm talking about. As those sea breezes kick in by Wednesday and Thursday, our chance of showers goes up to 50. And hopefully that'll bring cooler temperatures as well.